the iconic Pudong skyline in the city of Shanghai, a testimony to China's rapid economic growth. The view is most spectacular at night, when the veil of thick polluted air is not visible. Most city dwellers own one of these in an attempt to block out the particulate matter. Today we describe and explain a direct method of measuring pollution. Particulate matter can come from multiple sources in all countries. In many countries, industries are required by law to mitigate the release of particulates using devices like electrostatic precipitators. And dust monitors like this are used in both indoor and outdoor environments to monitor air quality. In many MEDCs or more developed countries, special air quality monitoring stations are set up to track a variety of airborne pollutants. A simple, low-cost yet effective way to obtain data on the amount and type of particulate matter in the air is to take samples from leaves. Another technique uses a light microscope to classify and quantify particulate matter in accordance with particle size. This dust particle collector has an adhesive surface and it can be set at specified locations for about two to three days. Data on temperature and weather should be recorded. The dust collector is then viewed under a microscope. The times 10 objective will show only about four squares in its field of view. This grid, when used in conjunction with a stage micrometer, would be able to give you an idea of particle size. Here these soil particles are quite large and others are less than one hundredth of a millimeter or less than 10 micrometers. So what is an efficient way to go about the count of particulate matter on one of these cards? An efficient way that would not require you to count every single square. In doing this, it is useful to reflect on topic 2.3 the use of the quadrat to estimate populations. Air quality monitoring stations in Shanghai track both particulate matter 2.5 and particulate matter 10, in addition to a range of other primary and secondary air pollutants. You can go here to the US EPA website to read more about particulate matter and here to find out more about the daily monitoring of air pollution in the city of Shanghai.